Let's look at what we've learned about programming by using Scratch. This is how to learn Scratch programming language. The Scratch program language is free, fun and easy to learn. Most program languages are text-based so a learner has to gain experience writing the code. But Scratch program is easier as it uses blocks. The learner selects blocks, puts them together and runs the program in a simple way, making it the most fun and easiest way to learn programming. We start off looking at the simple programming concepts that we covered and if we go back even to task 2, the pong game, we can see here we have a loop, we've got the forever loop, we've got if statements, we've got if touching pedal and if touching colour, also or if on edge bounce. We've got an operator with 180 minus direction, so the minus part is the operator block. And in program when we have print statements and we covered them in scratch by using the say block. Moving on to task 3 when we made a calculator we used the operators plus minus multiply and divide. But we also used variables when we created and used A and B. In programming we get things from the user so we use input. In scratch we have ask and wait and then what we get back from the user is in answer. We associate the term boolean with true and false but in scratch in the operators we have end, or and not and we use not in an if statement in task 5. And then later on in task 5 we use the if else statement Task 6 was all about lists. We added things to lists and we also used the index to find things in the list and looping through the list. We finished task 6 by finding the common values, the common elements between two lists. During task 7 when we made a maze we put if statements inside of if statements. So they're called nested if statements. And in task 9 we saw nested if else statement inside another if else statement. But task 9 was all about functions. We created a function, what we say we defined a function, and we also called a function. So task 9 was all about functions. Finally, task 10 was algorithms and here we looked at a sorting algorithm. So we had a list of numbers and we use a selection sort to swap the lowest number into the lowest place in the list and continued that through the list until all the numbers were in order. So that's a type of algorithm and that was in task 10. So let's review the programming concepts that we've learnt during the course. First of all we learnt some very simple concepts such as printing using the say block, variables, we set variables and change their value. We did loops, we did forever loop which is like a while loop in other programming languages and a for loop in scratch we had the repeat loop. Operators like plus and minus and divide and multiply we used as well as input by using the ask and wait block and using the answer. Now we used other concepts, we used the conditionals, if statements, if statement, if else and also nested if statements. We used lists which are often called arrays in other languages. We had boolean which we know is true and false but we also have not, and and or which are in Scratch and other programming languages. Functions were used in task 9 and finally task 10 we covered algorithms. Well I hope you enjoyed the series and that you learned a lot about programming. 
If you want to continue learning, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of new videos so you can learn with us. Okay, let's hope we see you for the next video.